And a very good day to you all, and the warmest welcome to this 2020 exhibition game. I'm Mark Nicholas, and glad to be bringing you what should be a scintillating display of cricket. In fact, if the 2020 format's reputation is anything to go by, we're in for a treat. Well, this pitch is wet, as wet as I've ever seen it, and I really would have to bowl first if I won the toss. I think it'll stop and be very hard to play strokes on. I think it'll move around off the seam, too. This is a very wet surface and will be hard to play your strokes on. I think it might move around a bit too. I mean, it's a pretty good toss to win this and uh, I expect the bowlers to dominate, never mind the first session most of the day. And facing now is Andrew Strauss. Steered expertly into the gap. The sweeper picks up. There's the umpire signal, no ball. It's in the air. That was well held. It was in the air a long time. The fielder did very well there. He made it look easy, but actually it was a whole lot more difficult than it looked. It'll seem like a mile back to that pavilion after getting out so cheaply. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. He was easily back in the crease there. That's two more runs on the board. Great shot, that's four all the way. And now the confidence is seeping through. He dispatched that with, well, with ease and grace. out there that is a perfect example of how to play the stroke Fielded by the man at long on the field has appealed that uh, he was quite comfortably home there was a good piece of running that's good running more good running by this pair it puts the fielders under such pressure He loves it there. That's a great stroke. Four more. Yes. Cracking stroke. He's in good touch. right out of the middle of the bat. And the end of the over. The skipper won't be pleased with him after that over. Oh, oh and he's bowled him. Well bowled, very well bowled, straight and full when it mattered. We can have a look at that again. There it goes. A few heated words said about that in the dressing room, too. A 
Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Four all the way. Oh, he played that stroke perfectly. And the end of the over. Hold on to your hats. This is Kevin Peterson. The batsman will have to reassess the field now that those fielding restrictions have been lifted. Remember, five players can be outside the ring. He's worked that into the gap. This was the end of the innings. Brown. He played all around that, and it was a comprehensive end. Collingwood is the next batsman in. Brown. Well, he can't miss straight balls, not at this level. That is as comprehensive an end as you'll see. The next man in is Jones. Well, the field is not going to cut that off. It's pretty tough for the bowlers on a pitch like this. There doesn't seem to be any margin for error. Let's uh, see the action. Yeah. There should be some runs here. Fielded by the man at long on. Oh, foolish running. That's simply throwing wickets away. Oh, no, that's a terrible call. There was never a run in that. Never. Jones is out first ball. With the fall of that wicket... Take a look at that in uh, slow motion. He'll be OK, but uh, that will be very, very sore in the morning. That came off the pads. Just one run. Brown. Oh! That's a great sight for a bowler. Stumps flying. That has to be close. Not out. The umpire didn't have to think too hard about that one. That's a ridiculous appeal. Not a difficult decision for the umpire to make. That is not out. That really is a suicide run out. Well, that's just throwing wickets away. You cannot afford to throw wickets away. He was nowhere near making his ground. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Oh, that's close. Welcome back. The players and the umpires have made their way to the middle. Everybody's set for the second innings, and it really is difficult to choose a winner. Let's pick up commentary now with Richie Bennett. Harmison is coming around the wicket. in the stands. Six runs. We can have a look at that again. He has smashed that a long, long way. That is great to watch for the neutral. Not so good for the bowler. Six runs. No shot played to that one. 
Wide ball signaled by the umpire. That's edged and out. A great catch. He got his hands in the right place and somehow it's stuck. Now have a look at this again. That is a good example of how to take a catch. Hoggard gets his first wicket. Flint off at the start of his run-up. Oh, it's a monster. Concentration. Flintoff gets his second wicket. He's gone Beep for a duck. It is a long old walk back when you've made a duck. Quite, quite. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. We're about to see a change in the bowling. Collingwood is coming around the wicket. Got him, yes, he's out. Cracking catch. That could change the course of the match. The fielder did very well there. He made it look easy, but actually it was a whole lot more difficult than it looked. Collingwood gets his first wicket. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. Changes now that those restrictions are lifted. Remember that a minimum of four players have to remain inside the ring. That's got the treatment, and you've got to say it deserved it. Palmerson continues. coming around the wicket. You can't set fields for a shot like that. Four wides to Bangladesh. Oh, no, that's not a great delivery. The keeper was at full stretch and still couldn't get it. That's four wides, I'm afraid. Safe. The sweeper picks up. Collingwood continues. What a marvellous shot. Effortless, brilliant and maximum. And they've wrapped up this limited overs fixture with a great win. They came into the game well prepared and ready to produce the goods, and that's exactly what they did.